I think it's important that you connect that point to the religions and mythologies uh, that 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 are on display. Um, you know, speaking on the Christian uh, mythology, you know, there's um, most of the deities are, are are male, right? God is male, Jesus is male, even sometimes the Holy Spirit is seen as a male figure, right? So there's really no space. Um, if you take that to Catholicism, the only space that Catholicism gives women is, you know, for the uh, Mother Mary. Um, so that's important. And then we look at the evil society, you know, you have the chi, and around the chi is, is the female deity. So that in itself is important because how our religions are, will our, our societies will reflect our religions in, in many, many ways. Yes. So let, let, let me... Let me just uh, quickly uh, say though that the chi in Igbo actually has no form. Yeah, okay, it has yeah, no gender. Yeah. But yeah. the but the but the but the the deity with form is Allah, and that is the most yeah. powerful deity with form is Allah, and that yeah. is female. Yes, that's yeah. correct. In fact, let me let me even go a little bit uh, further because the because of because of how uh, Igbo's um, attach themselves to this to Allah and honored women. Um, what we find too is, I mean, you, you don't you don't argue with a pregnant woman. I mean, that is a no no. <laughs> but you don't also even kill any animal that is pregnant. Any animal that's pre that is pregnant, you don't you don't kill, you don't touch. Is a taboo to kill any animal. You have to you have desecrated the land if you do so. It has, you, know, you have to perform rituals to appease the gods. So that is the, that's the kind of respect that the Igbos brought to the table when it comes to honoring the place of a woman um, in, in society. And what we also find is, <laughs> in fact, I would even argue, one of the, the people that began to revolt and resist colonialism in Nigeria and by extension in Africa were Igbo women. You've heard of the uh, Aba women, they call it riots, the imperialists call it riot, but it was the Aba women resistance or protest. The women pushed back. They said no to, to, to taxes, okay? They, because um, I can go into this story if you, if, if you like, but they, so, so here's the thing, you know, when colonials came to Africa and they came with a Western or Christian mentality in which women were subjugated, and we often saw that in, we saw that too in America where women didn't even get the right to vote until very late, I think, is it 19, correct me if I'm wrong, 1920 maybe, they got the right to vote, women, in, in, in America, maybe, anyway. So, but when they came to Africa, they came with that mentality. So they only appointed men as the chiefs or as their leaders, as their go-between to run things in, 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 their, in, in their colonies, right? In, their, in, their, in the different communities. And the women were sidelined, okay? The women didn't mind. They continued they went about their, their day and all until they started taxing. They put a, a, a tax on, on uh, properties, on, on wealth, on goats, on this and that. So the colonials also had what is called the, they had uh, agents, let me just, let me just say agents, um, that will now work with the warrant chiefs that they had appointed. And these agents will go and make sure that their warrant chiefs are doing what they're supposed to do. The women pushed back. They said, they told no. They said, no, these colonial agents that came to collect taxes in Igbo land, okay? And they also went to the warrant chief and said, we are not going to pay these taxes, okay? When the warrant chief actually came and started counting, he came to, there's a woman, um, 
I think her name is, uh, I think it's Nwanyowa. I, again, I beg, I, I'm sorry if I, if, I, if I gave you the wrong name, but I think it's, it's one year one. So, so when, when, um, when this woman's home, when, when, when the warrant chief came to the, the, uh, this woman's home to count the, you know, her goats, and, and she was a, a widow, she said, was your mother counted? That was what she asked. The warranty was your mom counted. How dare you come to my house and you are counting me and counting my goats? Was your mother counted? And before you know it, in 1929, before the advent of, of, of telephone, she was able to mobilize 10,000 women from different parts of Alibo by passing out palm fronts. I don't know how, he, how she, she, she pulled it off. And they mobilized and went to the chief. They actually brought the chief out and she sat on the chief. You know, in, in Alibo, there's a certain of in Igbo land, if a man misbehaves, the woman will go drag them out and they will sit on the man. And nobody says anything because the, the man has really, I mean, if you have messed up, that's what happens to you, it's a, it's a disgrace. They bring you out and they sat on the man and they said, we're not going to pay this. I mean, it turned into a, a big force. And uh, the colonials, of course, did what they did best uh, uh, using uh, a force. They killed 50 Igbo women. They, they shot into, into, into the, uh, the protest. They killed 50 died. But anyway, the women, Igbo women has always, always been very vocal. And it's still there. The veins are, are still there. So what we need to do is figure out what's left of our culture, what's left of our institutions, and begin to re rebuild. Let me stop there. And thank you very much. Very critical points uh, that you're bringing up. And let me uh, just add to that, that, um, you know, in the States, um, it's women that are really shaking up and making the most impact in places where we need it. The BLM was started by three women. The Me Too movement was started by a black woman. We have the the the, the crew in in the, uh, in DC right now. The, uh, I can't remember all four of their names, but AOC and Alania. They're still wrecking shop. Uh, even in in um, ancient Ghana, not even ancient Ghana, but colonial Ghana, you have Yasantewa, right? Uh, uh, Queen Zinga from um, uh, from Angola. So you bring up very important points of, of the critical uh, uh, role that women play uh, in our society and in history, and, and they will play as we move forward. Yeah, yeah.